hello sweet friends welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well today you guys i am absolutely excited to be sharing with you some farmhouse bee themed home decor diys and you guys i think you're gonna love these i absolutely love these and i cannot wait to share them so without any further ado let's jump right in Alright friends, for this first DIY, I have here these three signs, chalkboard signs that you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to remove the tags from two of them, but I end up putting one back because I need I would need to, in the end, to hang this up. But now I want to place them all together, creating one piece, one big sign, and I want to place them here like this. So I'm going to take some wood glue and some hot glue, and I'm just simply going to place it right on the edge of the sign and then i'm gonna put the hot glue on either ends and i am going to put them together and uh, squeeze them really tightly until that hot glue is a little bit dried and then for the third one i am gonna place it but you would need to put the glue and the wood glue on to two sides of the hexagon because it is going to be attached to two sides so just don't forget the two sides so that way it can be nice strong and sturdy these signs are so perfect to make a honeycomb little um inspired for like a bee themed decor and that is what we are going to be doing today a little honeycomb sign and i absolutely love how this one turned out this one is my favorite from today it is just super cute and now i have something that i cut on my cricut here it's just two different things i have a little honey pot and a little label that says wild honey and i'm just going to weed those out and i'm gonna place them on two of the signs i'm only placing two i'm not gonna put something on all three well, I'm not going to put vinyl on all three. I'm just going to place vinyl on two of them because I have something else in mind for the third one. So as you see here, I'm just taking the honey pot first and I am going to place it on the one hexagon. Just center it as um, evenly as I can. And then I'm also going to place down the wild honey little label. And after I get those on there, what I want to do is I want to take some white paint and just a little bit on the brush, just distressing the one with the honey pot on it because I want it to look like a chalkboard sign, like um, like if this was drawn on to the sign, really. So that's what I want it to look like for this one, and that's why I'm using this white paint just to make it look like a nice little chalkboard. And I really love that look for it. And I was deciding if I wanted to do it on the other label as well, but I only decided to do it on the one because I just liked how it looked and I thought it made the sign look really nice. So I just did the one. And this is also just going to make it look really old and distressed and worn. And like if it was drawn on here for a while now. And that was really my thought for this because I just wanted it to look like it was drawn on here. And that gave me just the look I was going for. And I absolutely love it. So as I said, I just did the one. But you can do the other label as well. And then for the third um, sign, I'm going to take this little honeycomb ribbon that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I want to place it onto here, just a strip, but I don't want a long strip. I'm going to cut it down to the size that I like. I'm going to fold the edges so the edges are nice and clean. And then I'm just going to hot glue it down onto the sign in the center because we can now have a little pocket to place in some florals. And I'm just going to place one single little flower with some greenery in there. And you could just stick it in there. And I do end up placing a little bit of hot glue to the back of the floral so that way it doesn't move around too much. So I picked this beautiful little white floral and I'm just going to cut it down because it's a bit too long. But I don't want to cut it too short because I do like the stem showing. So I'm just going to stick it right down, add a little bit of hot glue so it doesn't move too much. And I'm also going to bend the stem a little bit just so the floral could be facing forward more than rather just sticking straight up and you can't see it. So I'm just going to bend the stem a little bit and I really like how it looks better.
and here is the final look at it you guys i think this turned out so beautiful and pretty and i absolutely love it this will look so great in your kitchen and i just love it and it's a decent size too it's not too small it's not too big and it's really beautiful it's nice and um I would say it has that farmhouse vibe, rustic vibe, and I really lo love it. Let me know what you guys think of this DIY. Okay, my friends, next up, I have here this little wood plaque that you can get from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to give it a nice coat of some yellow paint front and back. And I'm not going to worry about getting every little piece covered because I do want to distress this anyway. So it does not have to be perfect, but I am going to um, paint it front and back and let it dry really well. So now I'll just take my sanding block and I'm going to go over it mostly on all of the edges because I want that natural wood to come back through. So I'm just going to keep sanding it down until I like how it looks. Just making all of the edges really nice and rustic and worn out looking. Then I'll go in with a little coating of Mod Podge because I do want to make sure that it's nice and sleek and ready to go when I place down my vinyl so I'm just going to give it one nice coat and let that dry before I place my vinyl down and then when I when I place my vinyl down I have um one image here but it is cut into do two different um pieces because you are supposed to put one piece and then the other piece down and you are supposed to cut it using different colors of paper um vinyl so that way you can have the pattern of the B but I really didn't want to um, place down two different colors because the plaque was going to be yellow anyway. So I wanted the B, the B body, the one that I'm grabbing right here. And then I'm just going to cut off the wings from the second image. And I'm going to place that right onto this B. And you guys, you see me here, I'm just doing like some surgical stuff to this B. Because I really didn't want to cut two different um, vinyls because, as I said, the plaque is already yellow. So I really don't need to. So I just place down the little bee's body. And then I just take the the um, a little sharp knife and cut the wings from the other one. And then I'll just place it onto it. And it looks absolutely perfect, you guys. And I am so surprised that I cut it really good because it does look like it was meant to be on it. Um, and like I didn't cut it. So that is great. And as you can see here, I'm just laying it right down. Just trying to place it perfectly um, onto the B. And you let me know if you can tell that it is a... Um, a cut piece or if you really can't tell I really can't tell so I liked how it came out and now once that is on there I am gonna take some white paint and I'm gonna distress all over even on top of the B because I want it to look a little bit more worn out and also there was a little scrape on my vinyl as you can see there on one of the wings and I wanted it to look like it was intentional. So I just took some white paint and distressed it really well. And I absolutely love how it turned out because it made it look more old and weathered. And then once I was done that, I am going to take some a sawtooth hanger for the back. And that is it, you guys. Nice, simple, and beautiful. And I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it is so pretty. And I just love the simple B on there. It is really nice. You guys have to let me know what you think of this DIY. Let me know down below in the comments.
uh, right friends for the final DIY I have here this home sign and I don't remember if I got this from Dollar Tree but I am pretty sure it was from Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white paint and just distress the whole sign and um, if you want it you can just paint it or stain it even but I'm just going to distress it and then let that dry really well and now I have here some more vinyl that I cut from my Cricut and I have three little bees here and I also have a little beehive and I am going to place down my um, my vinyls but before I do that I am going to place down some Mod Podge just to make sure that it's going to go on nicely as I always do and then I am going to place down the bees and I do place down just two of them for now because I want to see where I want to place the third one. I want the third one to be somewhere around the hive. So I'm going to place the hive down first and then place my third B. And the little hive I'm going to place onto the M of the sign because that is the most open um, flat space. So I think it would be perfect right there. And then I'll place my little B on the side of it. You guys, if you are enjoying this video so far and if you are liking today's DIYs, do give this video a big thumbs up. Do that right now because that really does help out my channel and to help YouTube recommend it to other people. And I do highly appreciate it, you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you that spends some time of your day with me. It truly means a lot. And you guys, this DIY is super cute and super simple once again, but I am absolutely loving the bee themed. I think it's super pretty. And so now, as you can see here, I'm just placing the bee, the third and last one down. And then I'm also going to take some Mod Podge and just put it on each one to make sure that they won't come off. And then you guys, I thought the sign would look absolutely uh, beautiful if it had a little bit of greenery. And so I did that with some rub-on transfers that you can get from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to place two of them down. And I just put them in the center where the M is around the hive. Because I thought that was really pretty. And I just scraped it on there. And that was it. And that was the final step for this DIY. And I absolutely love how it turned out, you guys. It's super pretty and simple. And I am loving it. You guys have to let me know what you think. And here is one last look at all of today's DIYs, you guys. These turned out so pretty and I really do love them. I am loving the bee themed and I just really love all three of them and they could really go anywhere in your home. And I absolutely love it. Don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite from today. And also do give this video a big thumbs up if you like today's DIYs and do consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of my family and I will see you all on the next one you guys. Stay safe and God bless. Bye.